Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about how to migrate your existing user to Amazon Cognito. Before starting, my name is Krishan Khan Singh. Okay, and I am a software engineer. So in this tutorial, today we are going to talk about how we can move our existing user to the Amazon Cognito pool. So basically, Amazon Cognito pool is a user authentication service. They are that enable user sign up and sign in and access control of mobile and web application easily quickly and securely and in amazon cognito you can create your user directory which allow the application to work when the device are not online and to save data on user device and synchronize it it gives a consistent application experience to user regardless of the devices and Amazon Cognito support to scale millions of users and authenticate users from social identity providers such as Facebook, Google, Twitter, Amazon or enterprise identity providers such as Microsoft Active Directory through SAML or your own identity provider system. Okay, so here what we are going to do is so when we are talking about moving our existing customer or existing user to Amazon Cognito pool how we can do that so there are two ways we can do that one is using user migration laboratory another way is using csp having required user attributes so we will be talking about using user migration laboratory okay so how it will be so let's understand using this what will happen is we will get the we will set up our cognito pool and in that <coughs> Uh, we will set up a hosted UI for our Amazon login. So when user tries to login through our Cognito pool using the username and password of the existing system, okay? So he will try to login. Because that account does not exist into your Cognito pool, it will give you a failure, okay? So in that case, we will be calling my migration microservice. And that micro migration microservices that lem user migration lambda which we are talking about. So once it is called, it will check like user has been. It will take the user and password which we provided, which we provided in our hosted UI, and will call your API of API for login. Okay, and it will check like, and your API, your backend system will give us the user object if that user exists if the username and password provided exist into your system okay and if user exists in your system we will be returning that object to the amazon cognito and then amazon cognito will create the user into cognito pool and it will be success otherwise it will give the error so it's just a simple step. Try to log in using hosted UI provided by Amazon Cognito or use a library AWS SDK or use your own UI and try to own UI and use AWS SDK or any other medium and call the Amazon Cognito API and try to log in into the system. And after when you are trying to log in into system, will Amazon Cognito will see like that user exists into Cognito pool or not. If it does not exist, it will transfer that use object, that request and response object to your Lambda. Then your Lambda might, will be calling your API backend system and will be checking user exists or does not exist. And then on the basis of that, if user exists, will will give the user information to Cognito pool and Cognito pool will create that user otherwise we will get the better so this is the JSON object which is passed to user migration lambda okay here if you see like it's a version trigger source trigger source basically when when we say we are migrating our existing user to Amazon Cognito it can be triggered using two sources one is login and another forget password so using forget password also we can create the user to our amazon cognito pool or using login also we can create region and whatever reason you are working user pool id then the username okay the username which i passed during login and then call our context and all 
and there will be a request object okay in that request object we will be having our password the password which we provided in for login so this will be the password for your existing backend system okay and then validation data or any user attribute which you want to provide like first name last name or whatever you have in your login system and then it will be containing the response also okay which will have user attribute for select creations final user status message actions desired delivery mediums and all so what happens is this object will go to our lam uh, lambda and once we will check like user exist we will be updating this response object okay and once this uh, this response object of this session and it will pass to the amazon cognito in and on the basis of this user will be created in your cognito pool so i have <coughs> specified the meaning of some of the attributes in this station like what is the trigger source user lambda is called from login of uh, forget password which we talked about user name enter by the user password enter by the user for sign in and in password forget uh, forget uh, forgot password flow um, this will not be there validation data it's a key value pair containing validation data and user sign in request okay then client metadata for ch challenges and other like you want to challenges in the sense like after logging you want to provide a screen which asks for the four digit code number set to on your sms or mobile or that kind of stuff okay user attribute so once we are talking about response parameter the user attribute is required if you find anything you have to a set into your user attribute some other standard attributes are address birth email family name gender middle name phone number picture profile lots of are there and then final user status so final user status will determine like uh, amazon cognito will create the user into your user pool or not if you are uh, setting that final user status confirm it means we are confirming that user exists into our backend system please create that and if we say reset required it means user exists but we mm, user exists but we want to change the password so once the user is created and next time users try to log in using amazon cognito pool he will be presented with a change password screen okay message action is like if you are sending suppress it means welcome message will not be sent otherwise by default amazon cognito send a welcome message whenever someone tries to log in so this is our lambda code uh, which can be used as a user migration lambda so here what we are doing is we are specifying our client id user pool id uh, in which we have to create our user and then aws sdk and we did set the reason for our aws sdk and then this is a lambda function any lambda function will be having export.handler if we are following the naming in the text and then it will be having three events uh, sorry three parameters event context and callback okay so event dot trigger source as i told like we'll be getting the event object and that event object will be having all this json parameter right so here we can directly see event dot trigger source if event dot trigger source is user migration authentication means user is trying to log in okay or otherwise it might be user migration underscore forget password if that is the case it means user is trying to do the forget password thing. and then here what we are doing we are authenticating the user authenticate user so this is some method where we will be calling our backend system and we will be checking user name and password okay if then this authenticated user function will give us the user object true false or uh, some attribute in this object okay in, in my case i am just simply returning true 
not sending anything just to mark like okay user exist or something like that once i get that what i'm doing is in event response in user attribute i am setting the user email address which has been sent during the login and then email verified true event response dot message action equal to suppress and then i am telling context dot succeed event okay so now what uh, what i'm trying to do is uh, i did the message action suppress so mail will not be sent because it was uh, i was a user already sorry i was a user already and final user status i did set for confirm okay and even the response dot user attribute here i am setting test at gmail.com we can set it dynamically every time and then email verified equal to true so if you will say email verified equal to true and your cognito it will show there is a confirm user or something like that if you are not able to find the user you will be sending call back bad request so this is how you can write your lambda for migrating your user now let's go to the um, uh, example in the console amazon console. so i have this learning pool inside that uh, i have created a app okay so in that app there is a app client setting sorry Where is that client sorry uh, <clears throat> so if you see here uh, there are triggers are here so when you will click on this trigger section right you will be seeing various trigger listed here pre sign up pre authentication custom message post authentication we are interested in user migration trigger so this user migration trigger is trigger which will uh, which will migrate our existing user to the amazon cognito so here what we have to do is we have to uh, it, here we will be getting the list of all lambdas which we are having so i created a user migration lambda okay the source code which i have shown you in my blog right so let's go to that lambda So if you see this user migration lambda, I have the source code which I have explained you right. So it is here. And if we go to the monitoring tab, we can view the logs in cloud batch. So, okay, okay. Okay. So, this is the URL for my. login you uh, uh, login page which has been hosted on amazon so what i will do i will enter some like question at gmail.com and any password so when i will try to do when i will try to sign in what amazon cognito will see do is first it will see that question at gmail.com exist in my account or not okay 
it means in the, that congruent pool if it does not exist it will go to my lambda function that which we have declared and then it will create the user let's try it out when i click on sign in i got this side can page because because in my amazon congruent pool i ha i have set up callback as a localhost 3000 which currently not running on my system and due to that you got this page but if you come here and see in users and group and if you refresh it you will be able to see that question at gmail.com has been created which was not there before okay and the account status is coming through and if you see the timing also October 23 2019 which is the today date and the time is coming different from mine because the server is in some different time zone or whatever so that's how user is created if we go to our cloud watch and do the refresh all are 21 so you will see 526 and 1029 so this logs was log was created and if you come here see the objects uh, which which my user lambda got is this the triggers us reason and all okay question count one two three i give the password username question count question at gmail so that's that's how you can migrate your user to amazon cognito i feel this tutorial is very beneficial for you thank you for uh, thank you very much for watching I'm closing this tutorial i just want to tell i have a udmi course on the kit uh, the title of that udmi course is uh, get understand it and name it it's a very good course and you can subscribe and i have a youtube channel as well so you can subscribe uh, you can get another tech video there thank you very much